Cyclonic Storm Mocker 2023 last modified. May 3rd, 13th, 2023 UTC This is a dangerous system. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, storm surge, rough seas, mudslides, and flash floating are all possible risks. Mocker is located 815 km south of Kokita, India, and has moved northeastward at 9 km per hour, 5 knots, over the past 6 hours. Summary. Initial position. 15.3 and 89.1 E initial intensity. 215 km per hour, 115 knots. Geographic reference. 815 km south of Kokita, India movement past 6 hours. Northeastward at 10 km per hour, 5 knots, significant wave height, 49 feet satellite analysis, initial position and intensity discussion. Animated satellite imagery shows a broad system with a cloud filled eye surrounded by bands of deep convection in all quadrants wrapping into the low level circulation center, LLCC. Microwave imagery shows the bulk of the convection is in the western and southern quadrants of the system along with a well defined eye. Analysis of multi-agency 13,100 o'clock UTC positions compared to previous positions suggests the system has now what we'll call tall weight. This behavior is indicative of the rapidly strengthening system. In addition, analysis of the 12,122.03 UTC MPEG eyewall replacement tool suggests an eyewall replacement cycle has taken place. One major contributing factor to the initial intensity is an intense pool of ocean heat content that has dominated the central Bay of Bengal over the past several days. Mocha is in a marginally favorable environment for further tropical development. These conditions are characterized by robust radial outflow aloft, a strong 850 HPA, vorticity signature, moderate, 15 to 20 knots, wind shear, and very warm, 30 to 31 C, sea surface temperatures. The initial position is placed with high confidence based on multi-agency fixes, as well as the aforementioned multispectral imagery. Mocha is lighting the western edge of the subtropical ridge to the east. Over the next 12 hours and 24, Mocha will move northeastward and continue to intensify to 220 km per hour, 120 knots. There is the possibility Mocha will reach a maximum intensity of 230 km per hour, 125 knots, before 24 hours due to that favorable environment, however it will be short-lived as the system will move into less favorable conditions. After 24 hours, prior to landfall just south of the Bangladesh and Myanmar border, Mocha will decrease in intensity to 185 km per hour, 100 knots, as the environment will become less favorable. These less favorable conditions are defined by an increase in wind shear, drier entrainment wrapping into the LLCC from the southern edge, the onset of land interaction, and cooler, 28 to 29 C, sea surface temperatures. In 30 hours, Mocha will make landfall and begin its dissipation phase. Over the next 36 hours and 48, Mocha will dissipate due to land interaction over northwest Myanmar. The deterministic and ensemble models all agree that Mocha will continue to intensify as it transits northeastward over the next 24 hours, then weaken on or before 30 hours as it continues the same trajectory. The JTWC forecast track consensus members are in tight agreement with a 67 km spread of 12 hours that gradually increases to 161 km just before landfall. The GFS, Egmoff and Abgem tracks are on the Pellwood side of the consensus envelope, whereas the UK and FM solutions are on the Quartorwade side. Due to this, the JTWC track is placed with high confidence slightly left of consensus throughout the forecast period. The JTWC intensity consensus is also in good agreement with all solutions, indicating a decrease in intensity prior to landfall. The GFS intensity guidance is the outlier showing lower values throughout the forecast period. The JTWC intensity forecast is set with medium confidence due to the spread in the consensus members and the rapid intensification scenario. Maximum significant wave height is 14.9 meters, 49 feet.